All right, this is just going to be a quick video to show you what I learned when I tried doing the brakes on my brother-in-law's car. First thing I did, put it in park, set the parking brake, pop the hood, take off the brake fluid cap so that when you compress the calipers, they don't overflow potentially, which it wasn't a problem for us anyway. And you're going to pop off the plastic cover on your wheel if you have one. Then use your iron to just barely loosen all the bolts. Jack up your car until you can get a jack stand underneath. I don't like just leaving it on a jack. Then you can take off the rest of the nuts and remove the tire. This is some brake cleaner you can use to clean it off. It's a good idea because there's a lot of uh, hazardous dust you don't really want to be breathing in. Then there's a plastic cover, a couple of them that you're going to have to take off those little ones there. And if I remember right, I think this is a size 7, 7 millimeter. I'm using a Torx bit right now, but a seven millimeter Allen wrench will work. First I loosened it with a socket wrench and then I can do the rest of it just by hand. There's a little clip here you're going to want to take off, just shove in a screwdriver and flick it. And you're going to pop off these clips. Then you can get your calipers off. Right now is where you can remove the brake pads if you want, the old ones. They pop out. And don't leave this caliper hanging by the brake line hose. Use a bungee cord or something to keep the weight of itself off of the hose. Then use a C-clamp or whatever you got to compress the caliper. And this is where taking your brake uh, fluid cap off helps. So what you're doing is you're compressing it. That's giving you some more room to put the brakes in. But when you do that, it's forcing the fluid back through the hose. Then if you have some grease, here's where you put it. Basically wherever the metal's meeting the metal. You can smear some on. This part was very hard, so do one side first, one hole first, and then the other one. Don't try to do both of them at once. And I'm just putting a little more grease where the metal will rub up against the metal again. Okay, with the brake pads on now, I still didn't compress the calipers far enough, so I can't get it on. It's not compressed enough. And just put the clamp back on, clamp it enough to make sure you have enough clearance. And you can lube up this bolt, put it back in. And tighten it up. Alright, so what we did here is this thing would not, because these calipers are so, or the brake pads are so much thicker than the last ones, the edge of this was writing right there and was going to slip off every time. And this was being such a pain. I bent these back that way. So these are these are further this way, which would make those go further that way. So let's see if this works. Should work. There we go.
There we go. So how to do this? You had to bend those here and here that way so that that could go that way further. That part goes in there like this. Okay, and then a bend. There we go, just like that. And finish tightening it all up. And put on the caps, one on the top and then the bottom one. And that's about it. I hope this has been somewhat helpful for you. It's not a fully detailed tutorial, but it should be enough to give you some information and confidence to get going. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.